shock and horror, no surprise really from some people that we spoke with who saw all of this happen. Steve Langford has more on that. The building boom in this city a sign of great progress and prosperity, but alarm about these giant cranes reinforcing yet again fears that they just aren't safe. The terrifying sight of this 565 foot tall crane plunging to earth this morning. Something traumatized witnesses may never be able to erase from their memories. You heard the boom, and then you know you run to the windows, and then you see I see a crane falling on on the street. We all ran to help. All of us tried to run to help, and then we saw a man trapped. But they wouldn't let us go no farther. There's cops trying to pull people out of vehicles. This disaster, some local residents say, is just what they feared when they first saw the Colossus go up. It looks like something out of a movie set. Brian O'Rourke and his wife live on Worth Street. The crane was right in front of their building. She called me and said, it fell. And I knew what she meant. We knew something was going to happen. We asked the, the operator, Golasso Construction, Golasso Rigging, what are the odds of this crane collapsing the day it was being erected? And they said, you have a better chance of winning the Powerball lottery. The catastrophic collapse shook local residents, figuratively and physically. Bruce Ehrman lives right across the street. It was the same feeling physically of shaking as 9-11, only far, far worse. Uh, I thought our building was going to collapse. The giant crane collapsed almost straight down Worth Street with deadly consequences, though perhaps less calamitous than had it crashed in another direction. If this crane had fallen 90 degrees the other way, 50, 60 people would have been killed. The fact that this crane was inspected just yesterday by the Department of Buildings is something that may not necessarily reassure New Yorkers. Live in Tribeca, Steve Lankert, CBS 2 News.